Red flag. Red flag. Why do they want to get kids with space so hard? Because I know that's when the indoctrination sets in as kids. This is weird, but it's spiritual. NASA just hired a Catholic priest to prepare religions of the earth for future encounter with aliens. What? What is that about? Then there's this article. Well, NASA taps the uh, theologians to assess how humans will react if life is found on other planets. Here's another article, same thing. NASA is looking to priests and theologians for help with assessing how humans will react if alien life is found on other planets and how the discovery could impact our ideas of God and of gods and creation. Uh, listen to this article from the first one. In a rather bizarre move, NASA has recruited a British priest to prepare the religious for the discovery of alien life as space agencies claim to be getting closer to discovering evidence that life exists outside of planet Earth, according to Bin 365. Reverend Dr. Andrew Davison, a priest and theology professor at the University of Cambridge, is among 24 theologians who participated in a program sponsored by NASA at the Space Agency Center for Theological Inquiry at Princeton University. Uh, the the uh, theologians attempted to assess how major religions would react to news of alien life should it be found. Uh, the appointment comes as NASA's $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope is scheduled to launch on Christmas Day. This would be just the other day. The vessel will implement cutting-edge technology to examine every phase of cosmic history inside the solar system to the most distant observable galaxies in the entire, uh, in the early universe. But I look out there, why are they doing that? Unless they know that something is about ready to be announced regarding aliens. Now listen, I believe that people are seeing aliens, but I believe they're demons. I don't believe they're aliens on other planets. These are demonic creatures that are being manifested to certain people. In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. If suddenly there was a threat to this world, from some other species from another planet outside in the universe. We'd forget all the little local differences that we have between our countries and we would find out once and for all that we really are all human beings. I don't suppose we can wait for some alien race to come down and threaten us, but I think that between us we can bring about Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Okay, there's UFOs all over the place. I'm just like, wow, 
When I saw the UFO, I was astonished. I saw a huge um, UFO. Out came aliens with backpacks coming into the earth. I looked into the sky and noticed purple UFOs coming down through the clouds. It was interesting. And as I broke through the clouds, I felt indescribable peace as my spirit was being pulled from my body towards the sky. All of a sudden, this light just comes out of everyone's forehead and starts telepathically speaking to everyone and says, if you want to be saved, come with me. If you want to go to heaven, come with me and be saved. Everyone that agreed, this UFO just came and just took everybody up and just dipped. Well, I watched this alien uh, spacecraft landed and as it landed, uh, a gentleman came out of the spacecraft and he said, come with me, Karen, come into the spa spacecraft. You will be safe. We will protect you. These beings are fallen angels. Now, as I'm looking around, this UFO spaceship comes towards me. You know, it started scanning my whole body and that's when I started lifting up in the air. And as I got higher in the sky, the dream ended. I asked God, what did this mean? He told me that the rapture will be disguised as an alien invasion. I've seen this huge, spaceship flying saucer ufo whatever and that is scared me and they, and they were attacking people and uh, i didn't even want to come out the store because everybody that was out the store was getting attacked by the aliens the fallen angel you said you saw fake news to cover up about the rapture what was the news before the people became zombies they could have their phone like this and the phone would go out like that and then the news was um there was like ufos alien abductions and Christians killing themselves. This UFO flew over our heads. All the people were amazed that aliens, they're true, they're real, but they're really demons. And I believe that's the great deception that's coming, man. I've seen countless of, uh, of vision where God was showing me, man, Jesus was showing me hundreds of these demonic spaceships coming out the sky. And the, the, sky, the sky was black and people were just running for their lives. It was horrible, man. It was horrible. Are aliens actually demons disguised as aliens? Let's discuss that. Lately, the United States has been chasing these things all around the world, but what are they? These points of light that seem to defy even physics. People are trying to put their finger on it and they're coming to the conclusion that it's not of this world. The scriptures say that even Satan can appear as an angel of light. Well, since these points of light are defying physics by going thousands of miles an hour, stopping then going at 90 degrees and then disappearing essentially, what do you think it is if it's not them? No, now I'm not sure we went far enough out to to encounter the Van Allen radiation belt. No, I'm not sure we went far enough out to to encounter the Van Allen radiation belt. Document number G two four L eight. I'm not sure. If, uh, you have entered the name. Not sure. Is this correct? Not sure. No. It... Please confirm your last name. My, sure. My last name is not sure. Okay. Thank you. No. Now, I'm not sure we went far enough out to, to encounter the Van Allen radiation belt. Maybe we did um, encounter the Van Allen radiation belt. Maybe we did. Up to 25,000 miles above the, the Earth. We, then we went right out through them. No effects on your cells? Mm -mm, we didn't even know it. I don't think anybody, well, maybe somebody said you went through the radiation belt, but we didn't feel it inside. Radical! <laughs> Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth. Paradise, folks, but don't forget to buckle up out there in Radio Land. Remember, we now have a good driver. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Driver, good driver. These were all unique creations of brilliant people who had to think of something that doesn't exist. All unique creations of brilliant people who had to think of something that doesn't exist. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to. Who believes that? Zero evidence. No one knows anything about the Big Bang Theory, but if you say you believe in it, you're considered a smart person. You don't know shit about it. You know nothing about it. Out of nothing.
nothing, sucks. out of nothing, everything just came about and just exploded. Where's the evidence? It's a Big Bang Theory shit. Magic. That's you have magic. no evidence, and you like cling on to it with zero evidence. You, you, you didn't even know that a priest came up with that shit. Uh, uh, yeah, I did. A priest, not a scientist, a priest. A scientist, a priest. If the Cabal were to deploy the fake alien invasion, it could be game over. The mask mandates have revealed how easily compliant the population is. They will believe whatever they are told. And the rest of us could be wiped out within weeks with direct energy weapons and whatever else they have up their sleeve. We are now seeing a sort of disclosure as if they are preparing us, continuing to warn us of the alien threat we know the Cabal has the will to do this, and it seems they have the means as well. But if we can destroy this evil cancer, then humanity has a chance. The president doesn't know it's occurring. Who's going to stop this from happening? The last card is the alien card, and all of it is a lie. A lie. Now, there was a recent poll in the United Kingdom more people believe in extraterrestrials in the UK than God, okay? And that's a, that's a fact. And so to me, the strong delusion is already here. The groundwork has been laid. And now our hypothesis at these powers and principalities that Paul writes about in Ephesians 6, these, these demonic forces have seeded this idea into the world. So we are primed and ready for a deception. Okay, but just one last note to you. Orbit is a man. Do you have a pro Why do you have a problem swearing to God that you did so? Sir, I don't, but I don't feel like I have to do that because data speaks for itself. I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. John 14, 27. Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Yes, pandemic. Yes, Governments will fall apart. Yes, wars and rumors of wars, earthquake, pestilences, uh, uh, volcano eruption. Yes, these are the things that has to happen. They must happen because he already saw it happening. He's telling us what must happen. Whenever he said must, it means it happened. He saw it. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Go and try. Try to have a government go and start a, a, a uh, communist country and kick God out. Let's see. Ask the Cubans, they'll tell you. Ask the Chinese, they'll tell you. We cannot do anything without Christ. We can pretend that we can do, it'll fall apart. We cannot do anything without Him. Look pissed, Ben. Believe me, you got every right to be. But hey, will you will you just let me explain? This is television. That's all it is. Uh, it's nothing to do with people. It's to do with the ratings. For 50 years, we've told them what to eat, what to drink, what to wear. For Christ's sake, Ben, don't you understand? Americans love television. They wean their kids on it. Listen, they love game shows, they love wrestling, they love sports, violence. So what do we do? We give them what they want. We're number one, Ben. That's all that counts. Believe me, I've been in the business 30 years. Well, I haven't been in show business as long as you have, Killian. But I'm a quick learner. So I'm going to give the audience what I think they want. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard! Drop dead! I don't do requests.